such a favorite dish that a lot of Mexicans like. Most of my TikTokers have been requesting this dish and it is the chile rellenos. I made a very quick 15 second video on my TikTok and I kind of nailed it in a bit, but now I'm going to show you the full video step by step. So stay tuned. So let's get started. Look at these beautiful chiles rellenos that I found. I always try to look for the most biggest chile rellenos that I can find. And in this case, this is what I got, but I really like these. Look how big and pretty they are. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is get a really nice char. Okay guys, so before we start charring our chiles, I'm going to show you the simple ingredients that you need. You're going to need eggs, the chile pastilla, which is a chile poblano, the Monterey Jack, flour, you're going to need some oil, manteca, liquid shorty, whatever you have, and a plastic bag. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need that plastic bag for in a bit. So let's get charring our chiles. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how I char my chiles. I really don't need a special pan or anything like that because I try to save myself time. Remember, when you come from work, you just want to speedy up everything. So this is what I do. I just place it right over the flame, but I also keep an eye on it. I don't step away. And do you already hear those chiles charring? That's what you want. So I have plenty of those. I'm gonna turn on the other one. And this is how I help myself. Just like this. So now I start turning them around because I want to make sure they don't get burned. Just like that. All right, guys, look at this one. This one's already done. And so this is why you need your bag. And I am going to just put them in here so they can sweat. So as soon as I start seeing that they're ready, I start pulling them in just like this. Let them sweat for a good four minutes or while you start cracking your eggs. Let's check on the rest. Ooh, yeah, this one's ready. This one still needs a little bit more. And if you see the, this bottom part, the way that you can char it, uh, you just kind of hold it there for a minute and it chars really, really quick. You see how fast it's already cooking? So just hold it there for a minute or two and it should, it should do. Look at that. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how I crack my eggs. So I just hit it really, really soft on the top and I just make a tiny hole just like this and I remove the little soft uh, falling parts so I can get all of my egg white. And I just do this. Make sure that you don't get none of that yolk out because then you won't be able to froth your, your egg white. So just be careful and reserve the egg yolk. Don't throw it away because you're going to need it later. So once you see that that's it, okay, you go on to the next. You crack. You make that little hole, but remove all the little tiny particles because you don't want it inside. Just like this. I think I have one already. And if it goes in, just remove it. All right, so let me crack the rest of the eggs. All right, guys, so I'm done taking all the egg whites out of my eggs. So I used a total of 14 medium-sized eggs for those big chile rellenos because I like my chile relleno to be covered in egg white. And so this is the amount that I got out of the 14 medium-sized eggs. So now, let's put it in the whisker. All right, guys, so while our chiles are getting nice and soft, getting that nice sweat, I do that so they can peel easy. So meanwhile, they're sweating, you want to start turning your whisker on. And so you just turn it on, and then go peel your chiles. All right, guys, so let's 
start peeling off that excess skin on top of our chile pasilla. And I'm gonna show you a cool trip, what I learned in the, in the past. I put a little bit of any oil, it could be any type of oil of your choice. I'm using my liquid shortening and I'm just gonna spread it all over my hands. This is in case if this chile gets, um, it, it's too spicy inside, then it doesn't, it doesn't burn my fingers. And it also helps you peel the, the skin really fast. The, the whole steaming part, it helps it, the oil helps it. So like I said, I always try to help myself. Look, look how easy it just comes off. Look how easy. Really fast. Beautiful! Like how easy. It's really easy to peel off. Alright, so now let's get inside. Get a knife. And try to get a, a side where it's not too soft. Because if you're going to be using toothpicks and the skin is too soft, then you're not able to keep the, the toothpick in place. Because the skin already became too, too soft. So you see this, you can get a spoon or you can just easily pull this out. And so I like to use a spoon because it's hot. Spoon it out just like this. You do not want the seeds inside your cheese. You just want it full of cheese. I mean, if you leave a seed there, one or two, it's okay. But try to get the most that you can. Just like this, put it on the side. So let me peel the rest. This is how you want your egg whites to be that cloudy like uh, look. And I'm gonna stop it really quick so I can show you. You see those peaks right here? Let me get this out. These peaks right here, that's what you want. That's when you wanna start adding your egg yolk. And let me get those. So this is now when you want to start cracking the rest of your egg and put the egg yolk inside. All right, so let me finish these. Like beautiful, this is what you want. You wanna make sure that it still stands up. Now you're done, all right? Let's go dip our chiles in here. All right, guys, so now my egg is ready. My oil is heating up. So now I want to stuff these chiles with cheese. And I'm using the Monterey Jack. You can use the queso fresco or any cheese of your choice. Let me hurry up and cut these because I want to start um, dipping my chiles in that, in that egg before it falls. So let me just hurry up here really quick. Let's start stuffing our chiles. And this one is a pretty big chile, if you can see. So I'm gonna make sure that I stuff it really well with lots of cheese. And if it doesn't fit, just make it fit. Okay, so now you want to roll it. Make sure it's nicely coated. And I'm not gonna be using any of the uh, toothpicks. So this is how I like to dip mine. Look how pretty, look how beautiful the, um, the egg turned out. Look beautiful. Now you dip it in. Make sure that your oil is not too hot because then the egg starts cooking really quick. Mm. 
All right, let's turn it. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. All right, guys, so to get the size, you just want to help it a little bit and just stand it. And look how pretty this side turned out. This is such a beautiful chile. Look, this is how fast your egg will cook. And be careful because the oil does jump. So just be careful. And if your egg is thick enough, you really don't need those toothpicks. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. So now let's lay it here so it could drain all that oil. All right, let's do our next chile. And again, it's really up to you how much uh, cheese you want to put in it. This one, I could only fit two. So now I roll into my, uh, this is all purpose flour. And it doesn't matter if you get a little bit in there. It just doesn't matter because it's going to fry. So you dip it all the way inside your cheese. Look how pretty. This is so beautiful. And now you get it in. All right, look at this one. Looks like a big fat burrito, <laughs> but it's so pretty. I just love when the egg comes out like this. Just make sure that your egg cooks really good inside, so just be patient. Uh, the egg does cook really fast, and if you feel that you need to poke a hole on the bottom, woo! Okay, so that's, that's what happens, so be careful. So just make a hole on the bottom of it, and then just stand it up a little bit. Just help the uh the chile cook really well just like this okay okay guys so what do i do with my remaining egg i just make a big old torta de huevo for the kids since they don't like it so just make sure you have plenty of your oil and there you go make a tortita de huevo all right the tortita de huevo is ready and let's see let's try to flip it Beautiful! All right guys, so once your chiles have drained that excess oil, you want to put it on a really nice platter. And look at this. Look at these beautiful chiles. Hermosos, beautiful. Look at this. And there you go. So now I'm going to prepare a really nice quick salad. All right guys, so it's time to serve your plate. And I already have my rice going on here and my simple salad. And if you guys want to know how to do my arroz rojo, go ahead and check out this link. And let's go ahead and serve our chile relleno. Ooh, and then remember, who remembers the chile de aceite? If you guys want to learn how to make this chile de aceite, don't forget to hit this link. And let's add it here. Remember, this is really spicy, so you got to be careful. And that's it, guys. This is it. Listo! Guys, this is such a really simple recipe, so don't forget to give me that subscribe and that like. Bye!